Hey guys, this is Heather. We're gonna make a lentil chili today because it's winter and what better time to have a delicious bowl of warming chili. This is the kind of meal that even non-vegetarians will love, even though we are using lentils in this one, which boost the protein and folate and iron content of your chili. This recipe is off your January calendars. If you haven't yet got your copy, there's a link down below. You can download the PDF and follow along with me for another delicious vegan recipe every single day in January. But for now, let's get started on this lentil chili. Starting as all good soups do with an onion and some garlic. So I'm just going to chop up this onion. I'm gonna make my chili today in my pressure cooker because I've had a lot of requests to show you how to do that. It essentially comes down to the same basic steps no matter whether you're just doing it on the stove, whether you're using a pressure cooker like mine that has a browning feature, or whether you're using some other kind of pressure cooker that doesn't. Essentially, step one, you wanna brown your onions and garlic. Step two, add the lentils and tomatoes, bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer until the lentils are cooked. And it's basically just the amount of time that that takes based on what equipment you're using. So a pressure cooker is gonna be faster than a pot on the stove. And then three, we're gonna add some chopped greens at the end, totally optional. So I am going to set this to browning and start and then I'll add my chopped onions along with either a little bit of water, some vegetable broth or some olive oil. And if you're using a pan, you would simply do the same thing. You'd heat the pan to medium high and brown your onions and garlic. And my garlic, I'm gonna put through a press because I said a couple weeks ago that was my goal this year was to get a garlic press. And lo and behold, I got one. I like to um, take the skin out from inside the press and just put it in. So that's two cloves of garlic. You can use more if you like, you can use less if you don't like. So a little bit of water in there for me and just toss them around. Don't add salt yet because we're using dry lentils and the salt interferes with their cooking process. We wanna just saute these with the oil or water or red wine is lovely as well if you wanna go that route. Okay, these are looking nicely cooked. So we're going to add some canned tomatoes. You can use fresh if you want, but you'd need to add some tomato juice or some extra water. We're gonna add our dry lentils and water or vegetable broth. Stir it up a little bit to get everything nicely combined. And then if you're doing this on a stove, you would just put the lid on, turn the heat, well, the heat's already up high, so you just leave it until it starts boiling and then turn it down to simmer for 30 to 45 minutes or until the lentils are cooked. Or if you're transferring or already have it in a pressure cooker, you just put the lid on. Make sure the valve is set appropriately so that it releases a bit of pressure and then seals. And then I'm gonna cancel the browning, get this to high pressure. Lentils take about eight to 10 minutes on pressure. I'll say nine and then start. And then I get to go read a book. So the pressure has come off and the lentils are nicely cooked. I'm just gonna let that steam a little bit while I chop up some beautiful, freshly rain rinsed and picked beet greens. Um, I listed chard in the recipe. Beet greens are the same family, so you can use either or. Uh, a friend of mine just happened to have these in the garden next to my house. Um, and this is totally optional. Now the great thing about this is that they add vitamin C to help the absorption of the iron in those lentils. But if you don't want greens in your chili, that's totally cool. So I'm just gonna toss those in there and stir them through to wilt along with a bit of sea salt since we didn't put any in earlier. You just wanna keep stirring this until those greens wilt. 
You could also put the lid back on for a couple minutes and just let it steam. And we can top it off with a little bit of fresh parsley. Avocado cream also beautiful on here. All right, let's see. It's gonna be super hot because it's straight out of the pressure cooker. Mm. I love chili. I think I could probably add another tablespoon of chili powder to this one because I like a very flavorful chili. Even though I don't normally like spicy stuff, I do like a lot of chili powder in my chili, but I love the texture of the chard, bringing a little bit of crunch and extra dimension to the chili. So if you like greens, give that a try. If you wanna join me for the rest of January with one delicious vegan recipe every day, you can grab your calendar down below. Next week is actually cleanse week for meal plan members. So if you're game for that, there's more details below as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful, healthy day and we'll talk soon. Bye. Vegan, 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 vegan